we continue. Yeah, we left off. We finally got our Cyclops. Um, I don't think we're going to go exploring with it just yet. However, it does give us a fair bit of opportunity to be able to do stuff now. And that's the exciting thing. What I'll probably do... Actually, no, wait, you get into the Seamoth Rub here, I think is a little easier. But, I'm trying to think, so, it's been a minute since we played. <laughs> okay. Just kind of assessing what I've got going on here. Oh, actually... That's just... Man, I really thought that you were gonna be able to stow this thing in a place, but I think it's just gonna... chill out. So that means I can... build out from my... Oh shit, I didn't have, like, fluid and whatnot. It does at least let me... build off from the, the um... Whatchamacallit? My moon pool. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Welcome aboard, Captain. So give me enough food. I need um I need water though. And actually, you know what? So with everything kind of like in place. <laughs> this is still gonna be like maintained, I think, as my main like entryway, essentially. We got storage there. Power's right here. However, it's inactive. And I'm losing power. We can't have that now. We cannot have that. Let me get some lantern lantern fruit. Let's let that start getting some of its power back. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit of a yikes. I really should try to just build, like, a small area where I can quickly get some more product kind of activated into it. <clears throat> but I do think I'm going to take this opportunity. I want to go outside. Because I haven't really played in a while, but I, I did think a little bit on how I want to do stuff. Because initially I thought the Seamoth was was going to park inside of the moon pool. Uh, since that's no longer the case, um, I still plan to keep the moon pool. Because obviously it's how you get the thing to craft stuff for the Seamoth, I believe. So I might as well just maintain it. And if I want to park it in there, I can. The Cyclops is just going to travel around the entire, uh, the entire ocean, essentially. But I think what we can do, at least what my goal to do with the rest of the base here, is to essentially build like, hmm, I'm trying to think about this. Because I'd like to build out a little bit and create like, I guess the best way to call it is like districts, you know? Where I've got power generating over here, and that's gonna pow and that'll link off to objects and rooms that'll be essentially like really requiring the power. But it's still far off where it wouldn't affect any other like major appliance. So this is purely going to be. You enter from here? Oh, I thought this was like a door. That's just like where the cameras are deposited. But um. Yeah, this will give the ability to work with, like, scanning out here, which is fine. But maybe then I can use it to... 
I gotta look at what all I can craft again. Oh, do I have the... I wanna make sure I have the setting turned back on. For... Okay, PDA pause is not enabled. Cool. 30 seconds. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. I need to get my tools back, I believe, are in here. Uh... Do I not have my... What do I do with my... My crafting tool? I put it in the Seamoth? For some reason? No? Where could it have gone? Because I don't think I would have stored anything in my sub. No, that's just the coffee. I really like oh there it is I'm just blind there we go oh yeah I was like moving stuff around to be able to utilize certain objects okay now we're good um and the main reason I want to build that is because I wanted to look in here so I can't do anything with the thermal plant yet, as far as I can tell. Um, this is what I wanted to potentially build, but I wanted to see. Okay, so it locks onto a room. Kind of like that. So you need, like, a dedicated wall for it, and it needs to be, like, centralized. That's what I'm trying to do right now, PDA. Thank you. Um, that's kind of lame. That it's like that. What if I... Okay, you can do it in a multi-purpose room at least. Oh, you can do it on the corners too. It's actually kind of nice. Huh. I'm assuming you can also do it in the moon pool if you really wanted to. You can't. So it needs to be in either a multi-purpose room or a large room. Can't be on these walls either. Okay. That kind of makes sense. I get it. Um. This is fine. I am cool with this. Because what I'm going to do. I might do a multi-purpose room here. Yeah. And this will serve as like... Maybe not. I just want to see how this reads. So, turn seawater into water and salt. Ideally, this isn't in like an easy to reach space. The only thing I can do... I could put it in here if I really wanted to. I don't really want to, though. Honestly, the biggest thing I want to try to do, I think, this time, is I want to get the indoor grow bed out of here. And I want to put it in another room. Like, my initial idea was I was going to put a... Maybe I just do it with this room. But I think I want to turn this into the workshop. 
where I store, like, major components and stuff like that. And where I build things. Or come up with plans, at least. And then... This room I just want to get rid of, truth be told. So maybe I just start doing that a little bit, like... Clearing out this locker. Which is almost cleared out, and maybe I can just put it in a storage room proper and get rid of it. Seek fluid intake immediately. Do I have any water? No. Uh, maybe I build that thing temporarily. And then break it after. Put it in a better spot. But, uh, let's see. I'll just put anything that's like up a fish in here too. I'm, j I'm just dumping right now. That's all it is. So I'll do... It'll be more organized later. And what do you need for it? It's three titanium aerogel and copper wire. Maybe I can't build this. What do you... How do you make aerogel? Gel set. Oh wait, I think I have one of those. I think I literally just put one in here. thought I did. Did I not? Hmm. Oh, let me go back in here. Nope. Let me just de deconstruct this because it's gone. We don't need it be able to there we go get rid of this I don't need that either and <clears throat> eventually this room will be destroyed and I can make room for other stuff did I I, I swear I had one of those things just lying around somewhere and get Maybe I got rid of it? I don't remember exactly where I found it, but I want to say it was... ...in a spot... Oh! There it is! Gel sack. And then... It was a ruby, I think. Arrow gel. Cool. And I need copper wire. What I need is water. Holy shit. Do I have the things to make water, actually? Hold on. I have salt. I don't have... It doesn't look like I have any of the other thing. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I'm gonna have to... Die, I think. Unless I find a bladder fish really fast. Oh, there's a tube right there. But I think I am just gonna die. Oh, I'm totally gonna die. Do I have health kits on me? Nope. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna die. Yeah, because the thing is, I get up here. Welcome aboard, Captain. I craft bleach. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I was expecting it, but oh well. I don't think I lost anything. Yeah, no, I didn't lose anything because I died in my base. So base death isn't that bad. Let me make some friggin' bleach, though. 
and then make that into water. Um, but that's going to be irrelevant anyway, because now I'm going to be able to... I just need some copper. Boom. Water filtration. Let's put it here for the moment. What am I... Oh, I didn't make the copper wire. Oops. go and now how does it work so I'm guessing we put salt in it and it'll just make water maybe let me see I have salt here or maybe you need bleach hmm you put water in it? No. What do you put in it? Let me see if maybe if I make bleach, it'll work. I have to actually think about how to get out of here now. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Also, while I'm over here, I'm just gonna break a bunch of the tube. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be good. I don't know if that has limited, like, resourcing, but if it does, that tube's probably going away soon. So I've hit it a lot. Oh wait, 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 wait. Filtration progress for 15% water, 30% salt. So it's making the water passively. You don't need to put anything in it. You just, I guess, collect the water eventually? Okay, that's, that's huge actually. Let's go. The only thing is, I think once I get the first round of water, I'll deconstruct it so I can put it in a better spot. Which, maybe I work on that right now. Because, I think my next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it. This will be like my workspace area. I'm going to make this top part, I'm going to make it another large, um, large room. But I want to give it a glass t dome eventually. So I can see above it when I'm in like a little greenhouse area is the idea I have in mind. Uh, where is the... There it is. It's like bugging out right now. Oh, because it's... Let me go out. Something like right. Uh, yeah, it is not linking how I'd like it to. There we go. That sh yeah, that should link together. We just need the plasteel ingots. Which maybe I can make? Let me see. Let me take a look. I know for plasteel you need lithium. If I recall correctly, it's titanium and oh, two lithium. Ooh, do I have enough? Probably not. I might need to go on a dig. Yeah, we're gonna need to go on a dig. Okay, so let me drop some stuff in here that I'm not gonna need to take with me. Uh, the 
of gold. Some extra titanium. Quartz. Salt deposit. All this coral tube sample. I don't need the fire extinguisher on me. That was for when we wanted to go to the... Um... The Aurora. FF16 DC Shadow Drop? Oh, really? Wait, like... Just Natty released? Or they just announced it? Or are you just calling it Shadow Drop because that's the name of the DLC? Either way, huge. We love that. Uh, I'll keep the stasis gun. Keep sea glide. Keep beacon. Let me put away the habitat maker. Just for now. And... Gotta top off my food. Boom, nice. Well hydrated, we got enough food in our system. This is... We're gonna see how this works, eventually. Maybe we come back, it'll have water in it, but... We're gaming. Um... Before I head out, though... Oh, wait a minute, I think I know why it's been using power. Yeah, this has been scanning the whole time. <laughs> oh, no. Or at least active. Yeah, so this thing's, like, actually burning power now. Right? Because it is... Yeah, it's out of fuel. Let me... Refuel it. Like, this is part of the reason I'm thinking of, uh... Getting a little area right next to it that'll have just a little bit of vegetation so I can just constantly power it that way. Unless there's other stuff that I could put in the reactor that would give it more. But I don't believe there is. Um, so... Can we see... Hmm... Oh wow, this looks super deep too. I didn't know that. So you could see the cave locations roughly with this. After you explore a certain amount. Uh, probably just look for shale. Honestly. Because I gotta go down there at the very least. Like I know that much. Lithium is the big thing I gotta grab right now. So... We also unpin all of those. So we need these. We need lithium for that. Uh, and enameled glass. I have to see if I have any more stalker tooths. If not, I gotta go back to the other spot. Man, having that is so handy. It really is. Okay, my power is actually burning really fast. Hmm. That is... That is obnoxiously annoying. Okay. Oh, it just naturally gives you salt. Oh. Oh, no, wait. Okay, okay, I see. It's gonna give you salt over time. But it also will give you water over time. So you're gonna get both of them. This is 63% of the way out the water, and it just finished one of the salts, so it's just going to eventually give you more. I grab one more fruit, because, yeah, I don't know why my base- Why am I burning through power so quick? Is it this thing? There's no way!
You know, maybe I don't need to... Let me do this. I'm gonna take control of one of the cameras and just go to a cave. And mark that. Because I don't remember the exact location of the caves, that's... The only thing. One of them might be over here, so that'll save time. <laughs> okay. So that's camera four. I'm gonna stop scanning and let my base kind of recharge. I don't know if there's a way to upgrade this either. Probably not. Just have to get more bioreactors kind of thing. Yeah, so we'll leave that alone. Let's, uh... Get back to the Seamoth. Camera four. I guess all I really should do right now the finals game shadow drop tonight. A three-person group big destruction game. I don't remember... ...what that is. Maybe we've seen it before. It's not ringing a bell immediately, but... ...that's cool. I, we li I like shadow drop games. That's always fun. That's a that's a lithium node right there. I just can't mine it. I think I just stay in my sea moth for the moment. Hopefully the trailers come out soon, Infinity, so we could look at them a little bit here and there. I don't plan to go into, like, full reaction mode, but just, like, checking stuff out is cool. Ow. Some magnetite. A lot of magnetite. No lithium. I just need, like, three lithium and I'll be fine. Is this where I died? Because there was just a bunch of objects right there. I don't, I don't know if that exists, but... Like, discovering materials of the... We're just left behind is kind of nice. I'm just kind of not really worried about those guys either. Just kind of looking for either lithium or shale. But I'm not seeing either here. I might not be able to do anything here. Unless I find a hole further down. Monster Hunter Wilds got announced? Ooh. Is it like... 
proper monster hunter or is it uh like another not not like spin-off kind of thing but like the thing i think of for like step up in terms not really ingenuity i'm trying to think of the word but like for me monster hunter worlds was like a peak if that makes sense these guys are just biting the shit out what are you doing toxic because i don't know what monster hunter rise was like and i know there's other like little games that came out related to monster hunter so ooh. i'm gonna be careful here Gold is not what I want. That that will probably kill me if I'm too close to it, I'm guessing. There's also some dead fish down there. Oh god. I'm on fire. Ay ay. just have to go around I think or get out of here at least I wonder actually I wonder if I could if I wanted to is there like a top to it from here Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, ooh. Like little bits of smoke are appearing. Huh. Okay. Guess not. Ooh, shale. The one time I don't want diamonds, it's it's giving me more diamonds than anything. The magnetite is also just super common right now. Shale? There's a lithium, okay. I just need one more, I think. One more bit of lithium. Oh, wait, there's... I missed that one. Diamond. Shale down here. I didn't see that. It's gold. Okay. Hated that sound. We're just doing some big exploring. Is A okay? Ooh, okay, that's the opening to some of those. I wonder if it goes up super high. Like any higher than it currently goes. Doesn't look like it, cause. Ooh, actually, that's a surface. That's a straight shot to the surface, so if maybe... Maybe we could get a thermal generator down here. I want to do something. I haven't done this in a minute. Can I... I can't do it from here. I want to drop a beacon. And this is going to be thermal activity. There. Because this way, if I want to come back to it, I'll remember where it is. Because this is like under... Not it's, it's a bit far from my base, but this is just an example. And it also gives me an idea of like a next place to explore.
There's a, there's a lot of it too. That's the other thing. Like it wouldn't surprise me if this leads into a new area. It's like a little bit farther down. Diamond, what is this? Magnetite. I barely noticed there's a worm in that one right now. Scary. Hmm. I need one more lithium. Come on. There we go. I think that's all I need because there's one at base. I got one, two, three. Yep. Let me get out of here now. That's all I wanted to come down here for, for the moment. Oh, there's the Cyclops icon. Yay. As a surprise to no one, Game of the Year is Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> now, how many extra rewards did it also win? That's the real one, like, curious question. War of Bald Gate 3, yeah. Three extra? Holy, dude. You lost count? I mean... Alan Wake 2 was a big winner tonight. See, I didn't even know Alan Wake 2 was in development until... I don't remember how long ago. Like, it was not on my mind for a long time. So I was very surprised when it, uh... Welcome aboard, Captain. No Octopath sweep, so you post cringe on man. Unlucky. <laughs> um, I gotta get out of here. Yeah? Sixteen was best game music though? That's good. Rightfully so. Like... Be very surprised if the Final Fantasy community did not uh, come through for Soken. Apparently, that was collision. I need to repair this thing. Can I repair it, actually, from here? You can't- that is... incredibly annoying. Like, as far as I could tell, the only way you can repair your Seamoth is if it's... in the water already, which is so odd to me. park in here for a second. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright. Uh, I got the lithium. I just need to get two... Uh, no, four ingots, I believe. Or no, no, no. It's just two ingots. So let me put away all the extra stuff. Yeah, my power is inactive. It's just draining so fast. Is it really just from this thing? Oh. We have water. Large filtered water. This gives 50? Okay, it's definitely good. Definitely good. 
And so salt is 100%. I could pull the salt out. Pull the water out. Big water bottle. I'm actually just gonna drink the rest of this then. So I don't need to worry about, uh... Like, salt is still probably gonna be really important to pull from that so I can make... Um, all the food I need. That I'll wanna carry out with me. But this thing is going to essentially replace any need for water. Because 50 will carry a long way and it's in one slot. So that is absolutely huge. Uh, put away all of this magnetite that I'm currently not using. I don't know what I'm going to use with it. Bunch of diamonds. I remember at the beginning we were struggling to find diamonds. Now it's like... You cannot go anywhere down there without finding some. Okay, and then I gotta do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that's enough. If I miscounted, I'm bad. Cool if you could stick solar panels to this up. That'd be kind of whack, though. I feel like... Oh, I was wondering. Maybe... I didn't say anything yet, but I was curious. Maybe because my sub is so close to my base, it's somehow, like, recharging over here? Because, like, it's so weird how much power I'm using suddenly. This was not a problem before. Like, let me see. Yeah, I'm already down two seeds. And this thing... Yeah, it's offline. It's not scanning anything. It's just showing the map. There's no batteries that are being used to pull that back out, I guess. Oh, let me make the ingots and they'll fix the power. Okay, so ingot number one. Ingot number two. And plastic steel ingot one. Plastic steel ingot two. Cool. All right. Let me pull this guy back out, too. There it is. I got all my batteries. It is... I've never seen it go in the yellow. It must be because this thing is, like, draining so much power. I'm just gonna leave the water in there because I don't need it immediately. Is there some- there's nothing in here that's draining. No. Like, the only stuff that should be doing anything with my power right now should be my... Filtration pa machine is like 50 power. It must be that. Let me- you know, I got enough stuff. Let me deconstruct it for now. Yeah, because I don't, I don't need the water that badly. Currently. It's nice, but it's not immediate. Could do a second bioreactor. I was thinking about that. Like, either a second bioreactor or there was, like... In a cave in that distance away... If I go down, I don't know how, like, long I can travel with these power transmitters. It might not be worth it. But I was thinking of, like, just dragging it along the, the bottom down there and then making a thermal plant. 
Which I don't know the ingredients for. I don't have the full research done, I just realized. I remember seeing it, but I didn't... Fuck. I've seen one thermal plant. Damn it. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that, then. I think, I mean, I probably just make more bioreactors. Can I make a prawn suit yet? Uh, how make? Is it just at the vehicle depot? Vehicle Depot. Let me take a look real quick. Actually, first, let me do this. This is going to be my greenhouse. And I'm going to make the top of this have the glass ceiling. So I can see out it. Um, I put my depot up here, I think. Just can't fucking see anything because of the sun. Getting flash banged. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, vehicles, just sea moth and cyclops. Let me see. Doesn't look like it currently. Picture frame. That's Pog. I guess I haven't seen anything with it. I feel like I've seen a part to it. Yeah, prawn suit. Like, torpedo arms. That's what I've seen. Is the torpedo arms. I haven't seen, like, the full suit. Unlucky? Yeah. Oh, well. Let me go back in here real quick. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency Let's see. decreased. Yeah, power's, yeah, power's starting to come back. Yeah, that's insane. Because how much energy is outputted with the... Uh, the bioreactor? Like, how... I guess, in, in theory, how many bioreactors would you want? In order to upkeep with it? Just two? Okay. Maybe I just make two and that way it's at least maintained. I don't need it to necessarily be like over the top. I just need to maintain it over time. And like refuel it essentially. But I'm basically having to run back. I was having to run board back and forth through the that tree area back to the bioreactor constantly. Um, but hopefully soon I'm going to alleviate that slightly with the, the distance traveled, because I want to go about this, I think. So if I make a ladder. Perfect. I don't think I'll do it here. Maybe like... It's very odd how it snaps. There we go. It's like to the ceiling you gotta put it. Uh, I can do it in the center. Probably will, or I'll do it over here. Basically, bioreactor makes 50 per minute, and water filtration takes 50 a minute. <laughs> so wait. If I was at max power, and I was doing the water filtration... Is it because I have... A scanner room, and it's just constantly draining, but like by a very small amount. I don't know, just very odd that it's like it's 50 per 50, but I was draining so fast. Yeah, probably what I'll do is 
just make like a second floor right here and put another bioreactor in that. Just make more power. Yeah. I'll have to. So can I do another multi-purpose room? I think that worked. I just see more titanium. Just eating those for a little bit of food. Doesn't work from here. Lamau. Oh. You know, what? probably a good thing I didn't do it there. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. And then ladder, I'll put right here. Boom! Climb up. I'll do another bioreactor, but I'll rotate it this way just so it's consistent with downstairs. I think. Right? Yeah. So, like, it's facing that away. I just need to get a wiring kit and lubricant. And it's like another titanium. The wiring kit. Oh, can I? Do I have a wiring kit? I do. Cool. I feel like I was. I put it in there for a reason, though. Oh, well. I'll be able to get more silver later, I think. Uh, and I need lubricant as well, which I had some in here. Yep. Perfect. Now this will give me a total capacity of a thousand. And if I go back over here. waters, grab one more fruit. That way I can just have it fully topped off. Alright, boom, 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 boom. And boom, boom. Grab one more. Yeah, the power is going pretty consistent now, at least going up consistently. Which makes sense, there's Two power nodes. But yeah, this is my little tower for easy power. Uh, now, I don't think I'm going to do it with this one. Is there like a smaller thing I can do? Indoor grow bed? Is it? Eh. Wait, what was the other one I saw? Oh, exterior grow bed. Oh, so I could grow stuff outside? Like what? Nuclear waste disposal. That'll be good when we eventually get nuclear. <laughs> I wanted, uh... Nah, just one entry is fine. Eh, I don't want that. I think what we have going currently is fine. So that'll just give us some more power. And now... I need a little more titanium with me. One, two, three. Yep. And then I put this down. This down.
All right, now the water operation is going to begin again. Let's eat a little bit and then grab some more. I just want to make sure this thing's full. Okay. Cool. I wonder if you can put old food in it and it would work. Like just food that you never had the chance to eat. We're going to test that. I'll leave those here. Um. Okay. Now, back to business. I think I'm going to get rid of this currently. And this is going to go away eventually, but I need to actually get started on the uh, interior of what I have planned. I don't want it in the center. I'd like it just along one of the walls. I think I'll just do this one. It's closer to everything else. And then while I'm up here... What do I need to do this? I Oh, you still need lithium for it. Well, that ain't happening right now. <laughs> At least I got the extra room. Because I want this to be like a, a full-on greenhouse, essentially. It's like a bunch of these indoor plant spots. That was D2. D2 was fun. We did a little bit of... It was mostly just like Iron Banner. Is all I did. I did a tiny bit of Clash because I noticed... I Well, I had a... It was kind of a chain of, I have this, so let me do this, so in order to do this, let me do this kind of thing. It was like a, a chain of events that got me into it. But I started with Iron Banner, and then later on I looked at my Triumph stuff. Or not my Triumph, but like my rank. And I had everything for... I had everything for it completed except the, like, Dragon Breath kills, so I just went into a, like grasp for a second and shot a few of my rockets when I finished that it gave me a bunch of stuff for um completion on on level 7 one of the things I didn't do yet was a uh a bounty turn in thing for Shax or anyone else so I just went into clash for a little bit and I did a few bounties that were related to Clash in particular. Because the ones I had gotten, they were just all Clash specific. So instead of just re-rolling, I went and did Clash. Turned in the bounties. And then I only need one more thing for level 8, I think. Which is like the campaign legend shit. Like getting a certain amount of points in them. I don't remember exactly how it worked, but that's like the only thing I need for level 8. Um, but yeah, then I just finished off with a little bit more Iron Banner, and then we swapped to Subnautica for a bit. You know, in retrospect, I don't want it there. I'm going to have it here. I was like, I don't want it in the middle. I don't want it, like, in this spot in the middle. I think if it's over here, it'll be fine. Oh, you can't rotate it? Oh, that's annoying. Really? Why? It can only rotate from the sides. All 
All right, fine. I'll just put it right here. It's fine. Because I want to be able to come up and then look back and there's like an aisle that I can walk down. So... What do you need for these? Or titanium. I'm just going to get a bunch of titanium. Pretty much whatever is left in here. And I have more, but I don't know if I'll need all of it. I gotta look at what all the seeds I have are too, and what I can and can't grow. But... It'd be nice to be able to work with a lot of space in here too, because I really am- I don't plan to branch out much off of this room. This is just purely gonna be its own thing. I'm gonna do like one hallway that'll link up to the top reactor, I think. But that's it. Assuming I can do that. If, if I put it in the right direction. Let me actually go outside and do this. So I can see what I'm looking at. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. So we'll do that. And then a hull connection right here. That's kind of neat. You know? Maybe I do something on this side that'll connect onto something out here. Most of this is very experimental. Which is cool, in my opinion. Like, the fact that I can test stuff, if I don't like it, I get my resources back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So yeah, now I have immediate access to this room if I want to deposit any extra bioreactor materials. Because I think I'll at least keep the bioreactors. Like, I won't decommission them. But, um... We'll see. One here. Let me just do one in the center everywhere for right now. Just go just so I can see what I'm working with. I was like, it's far, it's far enough back. Might be easier to do it from like this, this angle. Ooh, actually, how would this look? It's like a diamond. Honestly? Not that bad. It's, it's interesting, you know, I'm gonna do that instead. Just make it diamond. Yeah, because I'm not really covering anything major by doing it this way. That I can see anyway. And it's like mostly lined up. This one's slightly off center, but I could fix that later. This one's good, at least, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, 
This one's good. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe along the edges, I'll do it normally. It's just these will be centerpieces kind of thing. Part of me wishes this was also just like a snapping tool in certain cases. Uh, that works. That looks good. It's not like perfectly lined up, but the, it, the gist of it is there. I am okay with it. Let me fix this one slightly. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Perfecto. All right. Um, what do I want to put in them? Probably trees. Definitely trees. So let me go down here. Let's grab three thousand fruits. Yeah, I'm gonna do trees all in the middle, and then off the sides I'll do, uh, like, other types of plants, maybe. We gotta go back to the island eventually. There was, like, melons and I think other stuff over there, too. These things regrow so fast as well. Actually, never paid attention to how long it's. Oh, you can already see it growing. Little saplings. Cool. Alright, I need four more. I am definitely gonna get annoyed with where that is. I'm probably gonna move it to like. One of these two. Maybe this one. Because it won't be in the way. <laughs> we'll see, though. Uh, and this thing here is making salt still, which is good. I'm actually not making anything currently, which is interesting. I'm just going to start deconstructing this and getting rid of it. Because I want to get rid of this thing. It's time. It's been a really annoying little area for a very long time. There we go. Deconstruct. Boom. I can get rid of this foundation. I can get rid of this foundation. And... Fuck this one. Because <laughs> I can't really do anything about it. Because this is right here. And there's no way I'm moving any of that. What I might do... Is maybe snap this closer? So it's at least consistent? Now there's like flooring underneath it for a little bit more stability. And then on this side I can do something similar. I think. Let me see how it looks. Oh, the thing is, you can't deconstruct it. So, oh, if, if you didn't like it, you are fucked. 
hate that. Yeah, that's why I don't really like the found like these foundation plates. It's just you can't get rid of them. Everything else you can. Oh, I need lead. Cringe. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. I should have enough lead. You just need like two. There is so much tubing right here. But honestly, with the way that's setting up, it's okay. I'm okay with this. I can't do that, which is fine. Can't do it on this side either. I don't really want to anyway. It's just very odd how they have the the plating like this. The only thing I think that I would have done alternatively is maybe you can put it... Yeah, maybe you can do it like corner-wise here. And that counts for foundation, so you could do it like... on the inner parts of the base. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I don't know. It just, it, I don't like the look of it overall. There's not a ton of point to it either. Like, the most I could see is if you wanted to put on, like, exterior things, like floor lights, maybe. Just make the place glow a little bit on the outer parts. I feel like there's other options. There's a filtration system right there. Oh, please tell me I can deconstruct it. 30 seconds. I hope me putting that panel down didn't fuck it. Because I want to be able to move it eventually. I can deconstruct it. Okay, good. I can do it eventually, just not right now. I am in a bit of a power decline again, so... I'm assuming... Let's go try and put these in the reactor. Yeah, because they're inactive right now, so they've gone through their seeds. It's active again. It, it seems to work. So if you have rotten food in your inventory, you can just put it in. Which is kind of nice. I don't know if it lasts as long, but it you can still get value out of it. Oh, this one is still pumping anyway. Let's go. Sick. Now I wish I could rotate them. <laughs> Rotating would be nice. But yeah, I am going to move this. It, it does not work there. I'm going to put it... Yeah, that, that works a little bit better. Not perfectly, but it's a little better. Actually, did I? I didn't fill this grow bread. You know what? Or grow bed, I should say. I'm gonna take this out. I should be able to do... Yeah, I could do walls right here. That way, it's blocked off. And could be its own thing. And it also gives me stability on this room. It's basically to continually give me like more stability and then if I put a door here I just gotta figure out what to do with this room I appear to have made a misstep actually I don't need to do the exact same thing as downstairs. I can make this like a little open area like that. And maybe I could put different types of plants and shit in here. This works for now. It gets the job done. 
And then I can go straight to the reactor from this spot, which is really sick. Um, maybe I'll do windows along the sides too. But I think just the three grow beds is fine right now. I gotta make more eventually for like other types of food. But I wanted to get more things and just get rid of that room because I did not like it for so long. Um... I think this is fine. And I might, honestly, maybe I keep the water filtration in here. Much longer you play on stream before? Maybe like another hour or so, give or take. Why do you ask? These back probably ooh, let me get a new battery in this. Holy shit. If the FF16 DLC comes out, you'll be streaming it so you can host me. Okay. So it, it's like actually when when you say shadow drop, it's getting like put out tonight. Which is very sick. Salt. Um, I am gonna scream from the chandelier. second and clear some notifications uh okay um okay so kind of establishing some stuff i think what's some other things oh might be worth me i just for like uh, RP sake, making a bulkhead for this spot just in case that would hypothetically flood. I need silicon rubber and I need three titanium. I think it also is supposed to give stability. At least that, that would make sense because it's a bulkhead. Yeah. It gives three. Okay, sick. Now, how does it work? I just open it every time. Uh, okay, it stays open. Yeah, that's fine. I'll probably just keep it open like that the whole time. I'm gonna also deconstruct the fabricator. And put it back in here. Perfect. And that'll be your permanent spot, or I don't like the how it's looking on the wall. I'll do like right here. Just make it centralized, because I don't think you can do anything else with that wall like that. Um, plus also gives me room I can put plant pots down. Probably not in here. Okay, that makes it easier to see. Cool. What else can I work on? Part of me is thinking about like going and slowly working on some of this stuff. Like just upgrades and building new items. Get the fins. So, what do I need for this? I need titanium, I need lithium, and I need two silicone rubber. 
and then just my normal fins. So yeah, I could do that. I have the rubber, I think, already. I just need to get... The main thing I need is lithium. Lithium is... Oh, I have lithium. <laughs> okay, good. That's my last lithium. But yeah, no, lithium is super annoying to get, it feels like. What else was it? Think about the sh movement. Oh, yeah, definitely. Gonna ultra glide. Titanium is what we need. I'm gonna need to go out and get more titanium. I used like all of it. <laughs> it's all gone. Uh, all right, and I take off my fins, I think. Yep, ultra glide fins. Cool. It just puts them on. They, they don't look very different unless they like shrink down when I'm inside the. Yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Uh, I noticed a little bit of, like, speed increase. That's what they do, right? Extremely like driven enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins. Yeah, I, it's, it's a little faster. Actually, it's quite fast. Like, quite a bit faster. Oh yeah, this is this is actually way faster. Holy shit. Cause it would take me quite a few seconds to get back onto the Damn. I basically always have my sea glide out. Now I probably won't do that as as much when I'm in this area. Very sick. I'm gonna move this. Like right here. Cool. Now, what else can I make in that thing? That's basically what I'm doing right now, is like looking at it and going, okay, what can I make? Oh, this is the next thing I can make. Um, what I need to be able to do is upgrade, I probably would make the lightweight, because I don't see the reason, like I don't know how much of an increase both of them are. Maybe I wanna make two high capacity O2 tanks and just like keep them, depending on the situation I'm in. But I feel like the lightweight for movement is going to be better because most of the time, if I really need the extra air, I'll probably be near my Seamoth and it'll just give me my air back. Also, I wanted to change something. We'll go with that. Uh, I can't see the name on this side. Cringe. Because I, I thought of a new name. And I'm going to do it for my... Seamoth. I'm going to rename the, the sub... The Cyclops to the SS Bald. Actually, wait, hold on a second. Wait a minute, holy shit. I can't believe I didn't think about this. We'll keep it SS bald. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Where do we change the name of it? Is it here? Hmm. External floodlights. Uh-oh. How do I turn it back on? Is that like making lights down there? I never really looked at that. Let me see. The USS Bald. This is a proper ship. Yeah. 
do that, and then this will be proper white, and the name will be in... Do like a like a light blue. Let's we'll see what these look like. I also probably turn the lights back on. Seems like power is still fine. Like if I take control. Oh, I am actually at low power. Like 84%. So maybe I don't keep these on. I don't know how it works with this, but... Yeah, so it is shining lights down. That's actually kind of neat. Yeah, I'll just I'll keep the internal ones on. The rest of it is fine. Oh yeah. Oh, with the lights there, it looks sick. The only thing is you can't really see the second line, so I might make that like the light blue, but I like that. USS <laughs> Oh, that is, that is insane, man. check this one day. Ooh. Break barnacle. Oh, these things can just have shit on them. Sick. I never really looked at them. I just kind of like... move around them. And don't really interact with them. Kind of wild. I'll just loot him real quick. It's little barnacles that they got on their heads. Oh, well, don't like that. But I wonder if I can kill these things. <laughs> Ow. Never mind. You're not worth the time or my energy. I wonder if the movement speed is actually affected on my sea glide too. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh my god, I'm moving too fast now. Yeah, that's fine. We we can keep that there. Uh, a little bit of extra materials. So. Nice. That's good. Yeah, I think I just need to work on getting more titanium again. Let's see how my trees are coming along. Oh, yep, some of them are done. Or, like, starting to grow fruit, rather. Very good. I'll eat a couple of these. This one's actually not using the power, really. It's just the bottom one is. I'm not going to drink that yet. I should, though. I'll take one more with me. Yeah, because now that I'm getting, like, all the extra salt, too, I can start to think about... Um... Um... I can start to think about, like, making food a little bit more. Like, I put away a bunch of 
fish somewhere. I think it was in here. Yeah. Like, I can turn all of these into... Maybe I keep, like, one of each, because I wonder how the aquarium is going to work. Maybe two of each. Take these other Reginalds. I'll just cook all of them. Yeah. And then I got, what, five fish? So one, two, three, four, five. Because now I can go in here and just cook all of the fish. Well, I can cure all the fish so it'll last way longer. And this will just keep me well fed for a while. It'll uh, just be consumed over the course of my journeys while I'm out there. Got more salt coming in too. Basically every time I'll come back I'll be able to like... Do some stuff with it. Get that out. Put the old batteries in here. Just recharge everything while I'm here. Cool. Uh, I don't need this with me. And I think that's fine. Everything else here is A-OK -okay to keep with me. Is there another full battery? No. I gotta... Ooh, that's something I need to make too, I think. Can I make it? Let me see. Blueprints. I need to be able to make a power cell charger. Oh, I can make one. I just need advanced wiring kit, ruby, and titanium. And... Oh, that's one more thing I should make real quick. Before heading out. Because I want to go look around. Just at some areas that I've been to. I want to make a radio. Just to be able to... Keep some of my shit together. Like in one central place. Um. There it is. Like, the hell am I looking for? Yeah, just so I can, like, listen to anything. If it comes up, I'll just put it in here for right now. No new messages either. But at least it's here so I can listen to it if I need to and remake it later in another spot. Alright, I'll put that away. Got all my food and water. I think I'm good. Oh, that's what I was going to do. For the advanced wiring kit, you need a wiring kit, two gold, and a computer chip. Okay, so I could basically make this, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's all just materials that are roughly nearby. I want to go... Back to the island, actually. I think is where I want to go today. I've just collided with my sub. 
sick. Part of me wants to take the sub with me, actually. I'm gonna do it. I keep hitting the fucking thing. Alright, let's see. Engine is offline, understandable. External camera. Um... Wait, so now maybe I can see the lights a little better for out there. Oh yeah, that is way better. Uh, let me see. So if I look at... Wait, that base looks cool. Shit. That's a cool base. Uh, I think I looked at everything too for like Leviathan. All the other stuff. Let me let me see which beacon did I have near the island? Actually, I gotta remember. I gotta remember which life pod I was at. 12, Dambi's crew. It's not him. It's not the emissary. Was it 17? No, 17 was the other guy. Okay, it was life pod 19. So we gotta go to 19. This is sick, dude. We're actually driving the sub. Right, or I guess piloting the sub is a better, better way of phrasing it. I don't really remember this area. Probably want to go around the terrain, though, because I don't think I can... What the... What is that? Oh, maybe because I'm too close to the land? I can't see shit right now, and I don't want to...
go too crazy with my depth or where I'm going and what direction. Because that's... I mean, the island might be right in front of me right now. Yep, there it is. Whoa. It is not rendering shit yet. <laughs> okay. Let me descend a little bit. Plus, while we're over here, we can look around. Not just at the, uh, like, the top of the island and get more of the fruit that we got the last time. We can go down below a little bit with the... Hold on. Okay, I did bring my seam off with me. Good. Which, this is probably as far as I'll go up. Let me... Actually, I could just drop down. Get on out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go down there. Maybe a little bit. Explore some stuff. My main thing that I want to do real quick, though, is I want to... Try and go back to... Uh, any of the little Degazi huts that had fruit in them. Maybe see about collecting it to bring back to base. The thing I'm unsure about, though, is while I'm here, uh, or at least while I have the melons on me, because I think it's melons and it's something else that I can grow. Um, I'm unsure if I can plant those. Speckled Rattler, too. I'm assuming I can grow the melons. Oh, I say I, I'm, I'm unsure if I can grow them. I mean, I'm unsure if I can, like, grow them with, like, dead versions of themselves. Hey, how you doing, Rev Bomber? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good evening. There's some melons right there. Alright, we, we need those and Chinese potatoes. I guess I'll take some up too. How much? I'll just keep one. Just finished streaming not Subnautica but Raft. Oh, okay, cool. I know a, a tiny bit about uh, Raft. Not a lot, but uh, similar games. You're in the ocean. You're, you're building... You're building subs and stuff. You're escaping sea creatures, I'm sure. I'm sure it was a good time. I hope the playthrough is going well. This is my first time playing through Subnautica, so... I've been playing it a few, like a few sessions already, but... I'm having a good time with it. Played through Subnautica once already. You're usually streaming this, but never played a raft. So this is your first playthrough, so I wanted to stop by for sure. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you start. You decided to take a look at my stuff. Um, when it comes to what I normally stream, uh, it varies. It's a lot of like RPG independent stuff. So I'm playing right now. Kind of like my main game that I'm sticking with is D2, like Destiny 2. And, uh, oh, I didn't know you could jump up here. Huh. But yeah, we're playing a little bit of that. And then between that, I'm doing... Ba basically, a long time ago, I set up, like, a way that viewers could request games. And I've just been slowly going through that. This is one of those requested games by Arbidemic in chat, who's one of our mods. He, uh... He wanted me to see, he wanted to see me play this game. And yeah, 
I'm having a good time with it so far. It's it's very fun. I part of me wants to like play a little off stream at times just to figure out stuff with the base building because I really like the base building. I think it's interesting, but I've been I've been told and I'm trying to keep things like relatively like first reactionary spoiler free on stream. Like for example, um, going to the back of the Aurora and seeing my first Reaper Leviathan. Uh, that's like genuine reaction and genuine and, and is like interesting. So try to keep that kind of stuff vague, but I've been at least told that other world events can happen throughout the playthrough and that I should mostly keep to on stream. So that's what I've been doing. Thinking of doing something like that when I become affiliate, it's such a good game. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying it so far. I can't wait to see the rest of the game. I know I learned there's an ending as well, so I look forward to that. Played through the game when it was on Game Pass, but they removed it, but it was on sale on Steam, so you had to buy it. Yeah, this game, I think, goes on sale quite a bit on Steam. So definitely a really nice pickup, I recommend so far the uh something else i was gonna mention the fact that it was removed from game pass is unfortunate though it's odd how they do that kind of thing 9.89 on a cyber monday wow i mean i've seen games go as low as like this this has probably been to like seven bucks at some point for like a Cyber Monday or like super cheap month, like sale days, you know? Okay. Uh, now where was, it's down there. I remember we've been to it before, but I couldn't really stay in it very long. Got Cyclops and Beacons, well done. Yeah, the Cyclops we got last time. Uh, now it's just kind of like I'm doing a mix of building my base up and getting stuff acclimated in it. And I'm going to start like properly exploring more. I don't remember how far deep I can dive. Oh, 500 meters. Okay. So I'd like to go a little bit farther down. Not super far, but like, yeah, like this is probably fine. Right here is fine. Wait, whoops. Just started streaming your second playthrough and you're going crazy and you all the theme. Look, I, I, that is the most like relatable thing about this game so far is like, I, I was at a period where I had like enough titanium to fill out two full like lockers. And it is no longer like that. Uh, I, cause I just spent a lot of it, hey, titanium needed that. I just spent a lot of it to build more parts to my base, but I, uh, I, I'm so starred for lithium, it's insane. You playing with mods? No, nope, it's completely vanilla. I try to keep stuff, like, mostly vanilla, if I can. The only things I do install, if I ever need to for certain games, is, like, compatibility patches or things that, like, like, for example, we played Final Fantasy 13, 13, 2, and then 13, 3 on stream. Like, all, like, the whole trilogy we played on stream. And I installed some compatibility mods because shit would break on PC with it, apparently. But also, um, DLC was not working properly. So, ooh. Okay, we got some stuff going here. I would recommend looking into downloading Vortex. I'm playing with some good quality like mods that I would never play without again. Yeah, I've I've used Vortex before, or at least uh, so I originally I used Nexus Mod Manager, like the proper mod manager, a long time ago for like Skyrim and stuff. Um, not particularly fond of Nexus because of some like very weird things it does sometimes when I try to install new things, but. 
I definitely would use it if it just works, kind of thing. Like, I don't have to do any, like, major setups. Can I do anything? Ooh. I can't cut into you. Bad. Oh, but I can go in here. Oh, I've been in this area. Oh. I'm less amazed now. I, I don't remember being in here. But I guess I have been. And I am rapidly losing oxygen. You know what I probably should remember to bring with me at this point is my, not my radiation helmet, but the, uh, the, like, rebreather. Whatever. I can at least dive pretty close to some stuff, I bet. There's tons of debris down here, so we can look at that. So over here, too. What are you? It's an egg. I'm not- I'm not messing with the eggs right now, because I don't really know what I'll do with them yet. I'm sure I'll find it eventually, but... We'll keep it a mystery for now. Sandstone is always good. Oh, hey, speaking of lithium. Steel ore does not want to come with me. I'm sorry, the silver ore. Keep the gel sack. 2.0 update unfortunately makes mod manager obsolete. I've got a map no, mod and one of my favorites is the ability to see inside your locker. Oh, you're talking about like... You mean literally inside? Like the like when you're not reading the locker? Like, it, like inspecting it? Hmm. That's interesting. So like you can see the objects inside of it is what you're alluding to. That's actually sick. Have I been to this one already? I don't remember. Uh, I probably have because there's like five million biters around me. Hold on, let me, uh... Oh. oh! Hold on! There's another one of these. Can I scan it again? Just pick it up, I guess. seen a couple of those already. Where the peeper is like... His little... Streak effects. I know it's secret. Well, I've scanned it before and it said something about it being infected, I think. Um, I just don't know the details further. At least not yet. The peeper knows. Shoot. I gotta interrogate the peeper then. All these little guys. I'm not gonna... I should probably take quartz if I see it. I don't want to go on like a hoarding mission right now. I'm just kind of trying to explore. But I find stuff like sure, shale. Shale is nice. I like shale. Shale likes me, you know, we, we, we do enough for each other, it's that kind of thing. Sorry, trying to be vague because I know, know what you know and what you don't know. Yeah, that's kind of the tough thing with this game is... Um... I could have found something already that... Um... Maybe I normally wouldn't be able to find. So you don't want to talk about that subject. Or there might be something that's... Super easy to find that I haven't really... that I haven't encountered yet, kind of thing. Like, something I will mention I haven't done yet, and it's mostly my fault. Um... Back whenever the... it was the Sunbeam, I think. Whenever that thing was first coming, like, that event has happened. I never went to the location that it pinged on the map. So for all I know, there's another landmass that I could have gone to. But I, I'm not sure. So I never went in the direction. I just ignored it because I was so like overwhelmed at the beginning of the game. You didn't, so you didn't see the event. Well, I saw in the sky, it got 
um, Kamehameha out of the sky. I saw that. I just don't know. I don't remember what direction it was in. So I can't go investigate it. And I, I don't know what caused it. Um, so that's a, a future me problem, essentially. Uh, and filter water. Um, what else have I done? Um, oh, I've, d I've done a little bit of research into the Degazi, like, stuff. Like, communicating with them. Can I loot this? I don't like that at all. Have I done a self-scan? I've been told to a few times, and I believe it's still gonna say I'm infected. Yep, infected. I... I don't know what it means. And I... I think I've been that way for a long time. As far as I know, I'm fine. I'm just gonna randomly start coughing up blood in the middle of, a uh, my sub-trips. I really need- I need to figure out what to- Ooh, actually, you know what? Let me return... Uh, was it this way? I don't think it was this way. Screw you. The tea- the cheese touch? <laughs> That one escapes me. Was there cheese that I got touched by? Is my character canonically lactose intolerant? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh, like the... the books, right? I haven't thought of those books in years, holy shit. Like, um, I never read them myself. I was more, like, into fantasy sort of stuff when I was growing up. Fantasy, sci-fi, that kind of thing. Uh, as I got a little older, I started to get more into, like, I mean, it depended. I, I got more respect for other classical novels. Or, not classical, but, like, just classic style novels. The classics, you know? Um... But, uh, my sister, one of my sisters really liked Diary of a Wimpy Kid. That's what we call the infection. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> the infection. It's gonna turn into cheese. Actually, wait, let me go down real quick. Because what's super sick is I can just deposit all this now. Calorie... Calorie D's. That's what I say to that, is calorie D's. Oh, wait. Hold up. Uh... Oh, there's a small melon. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can grow these when I get back. I I'm not sure. But, uh, I hope so. Boom. Boom. And I'm out of water, unfortunately, but that's fine. I don't want to say what it's actually called yet. That's fair. You're you're completely fine in retaining any information and keeping things spoiler free. I really don't. What was that? Something glowing down there. Like, I want to explore, but at the same time, it's so dark that I... I'm afraid to, you know? This man is in hell? Eh, not quite. I'm below the... the like, islands right now. I just gotta... Figure out...
One tip I'll give you, story plot aside, is if you have a bioreactor, gel sacks are the best fuel I've learned. Ooh. Takes your mouth out? Yeah. I was just down there. I, I did a little bit of investigating, but I came back. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. So many sounds just happened, and I didn't like any of it. But yeah, I was going to go down here further, but my inventory was full, and I needed to eat. They burn forever? Hmm. There's no way of, like, reproducing or replicating them, is there? Because I, I see one here. I'm going to take them if I see them, obviously. Because they're I need them for materials, I think, anyway. And I'll break shit anytime I see it. Give me some gold. I love gold. Some shale. More lithium. Quartz. Quartz. Reginald. Reginald. Okay. You just gotta figure out how do you extract the seed. I see. We'll figure it out eventually. Oh, well, there goes that guy. Actually, I'm thinking about it. Okay, I dip my repair tool just in case. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I'm, I'm just parking right here. Lead? Lead is okay. Lead. Lead is good. Yeah, it's the funniest thing to me. Like, it's it's such a cartoonish thing. Because I, I, I mean, it probably would sound kind of like that, but maybe not as loud. But they make it so loud when you run into, like, any little object that it's comical. Like, they hit you on, on, on purpose. Sometimes. Or at least I know these, like, little biters around here. And what's funny is, like, there was a time I, I exited my sub in this area. Or not my sub, my Seamoth, rather. Oh, well, there goes one. Um, and a bunch of them just kind of, like, aggroed onto me. And chased after me. So I went back into my Seamoth. Waited, like, three or four seconds for them just kind of, like, all... Like, popping onto my hood. Moved forward slightly and just heard... <laughs> bunch of them just disappear disappeared. Much like that guy might. Much like that guy might. I just ran into a mountain, exactly. Ooh, I want to collect the... These things, too. Ghost weed. Do we go deeper or do we go farther? Chat. What do we think? I can go 900 meters deep. The sky's the limit. It's just my imagination. I hate the, the moment I looked at that guy. I hear my own heartbeat now. I hate those things. Those things are not fun. Blood oil. It's gonna pick up a bunch of these because I don't know how much I'll need. That was a weird sound, huh? Hey, now I'm in hell. What the fuck was that? Oh, I think it was that thing. <laughs> okay. Hey, we need those, but not giant. 
Yeah, I know the blood cells take them like take a lot of inventory. I don't know exactly what else I'll find down here though. But if I need to. It's impressive that the game comes with a heart rate monitor, isn't it, chat? That thing looks different. That's a content idea. No, I'm good. <laughs> nah. You'll see that thing, you'll see that thing go off every like five minutes depending on the game I'm playing. I just saw something up there. Neat resource. A Cheerio? Oh, Deep Shroom. Well, my inventory's full. Let me, uh, let me take a look-see real quick. What do I get rid of? Uh, probably... Oh, I probably should not stay down here too much longer because I don't have any more water on me. I can keep myself fed, but I do not want to drown. Or not drown, but a, a lack of drowning, actually. It's a... It's a strange thing to, con to communicate about. Hmm, I don't think I can fit through there. Eat the oil. I was about to say, can you eat that? <laughs> I want to eat the oil. Can you run into these things? Okay, you can. I wasn't sure if it was, like, gonna destroy me. Or it was, like, the most hard object. I, I saw a lot of teleporting. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Keep going. I don't know. I'm gonna die. The only thing I will say, if I get to like... Local scans show a nearby opening. Leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Okay. Oh, hell no. What the fuck is that thing? Wait, okay, this is actually- wait, okay, this might be something. Welcome to the Lost River. That's a big fish. It's nothing, probably. I think- I think the giant fossil that it just scanned in the vicinity might be something. J just maybe. Oh, it- okay. Hey, I think it wants me to scan it, guys. Do you see that? <laughs> Why is it doing that? <laughs> I must have been looking at it at a really bad angle. I'm freaking out right now, man! Okay, that's gotta be like poison or some shit. Seek fluid intake. I really- I... Probably should leave. And come back to this. I wish I brought a beacon on me, dude. Go into the gas. Oh, hey, what do you know? It, it, it hurts. It's crazy. A moboid. Among us. Wait. 30 seconds. 
Hold on. Let me, uh... Let me not die to that first. I did prank him. Yeah, it's just kind of a thing. What was that thing, though? Indigenous life forms. Ancient fossilized skeleton. Crab claw kelp. It's the brine. I just, I just destroyed an ancient fossil. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, there's like lights beaming down from it too. This is crazy. We gotta, we gotta come back here. I, I do need to leave though, like fast. It's been intact for the last two hundred thousand years until today. Yeah, just be like that on the. Uh <laughs> Bad. Okay. Um, I would love to come back down here. What time is it, though? Uh... Well, I don't carry extra water in the Seamoth inventory. Well, the water's new. Like, the, the water I'm setting up now is a bit newer. Wait, where am I? I came out like way farther away. Hell two. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yes, I know, I know. I'm going to go back. To plant life on the sea floor suggests this may be the migration path of a huge bottom dwelling life form. Bottom dwelling life form? That's me. <laughs> All right, we're back to the USS Bald. All is safe and accomplished. Except this thing almost fucking rammed into me again. All righty, cool. We're back in business. I just gotta go... Back, man. Okay, so I wanna, I wanna see, so... From the northeast, or I guess the nor north is probably better. So we head south about a thousand kilometers, or a thousand kilometers, holy shit, a kilometer basically. Gonna pass out on the sub? Not if I have anything to say about it. Beep, beep, beep. That- that makes me nervous when I see that. Hope if I actually go in the direction of my base. Also, I've already- actually, what happens if you pass out in the sub? Imagine being underwater and passing out from thirst. Well, I don't think drinking... I don't think- Think, well, I guess I, I don't know if this is. I assume it's salt water, but I, I don't think that would help your dehydration. I think it would actually make it worse if I understand it right. Maybe it would like help initially, but over time, like it's it's just salt water, so it's not gonna help much. 
it would do in a pinch. Yeah, like I think you could do that at one time and then that's your one and done kind of thing. <laughs> ah, yes, the moon. Scientifically, it's accurate, but it's higher. Oh, yeah, definitely. Also, I did, I did die of, uh, dehydration earlier. Oh, well, it might happen again. Should boost? Oh, yeah, actually, can. Emergency speed, vessel counterfeit, excessive noise. The head standard. <gasps> Passing one hundred meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Here's the thing, I can do this. I'm safe. That's the best water I've ever had in my life. Especially because it kept me alive. Yeah, we got the water filtration, which is pretty nice. So, like, in terms of that, because I got it in the Degazi base. Nice power. Uh. I, why'd that happen? Why'd that happen? Oh, I'm full on inventory. Hold on. One, one moment, please. Man, imagine I come back and didn't make water. Uh, we'll put it in this one real quick. Uh, just everything. Alrighty, I'll see you in a bit, Infinity. Have a good one. Enjoy the FF16. Let me not get in a critical position of power. Do, do, do. Gonna put this away. Gonna go down the stairs. Put that in there. All right. Um, I do wonder if there's like a another variation that I can get right now for fuel, because pretty much that's the limiting factor. I've never burned lantern fruit. I just noticed it works. I I don't know if it's like a good idea, but it, it worked for a little bit. Um, now that I have the water filtration system, it's not working as ne nearly as much. It's uh, a little bit, a little bit cumbersome to maintain. I uh, keep that on me. I'll have to reorganize that one. So the glass glass lockers you see inside of with that mod I was talking about. So yeah, you would see like, this is just full of titanium kind of thing. Yeah, it kind of stinks that that's not a thing. All plant-based life can be burned. Yeah, that's just kind of the thought I had. All right, let me go back. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Just real quick. Grab the stuff that I did have in there. Something on me, I can just eat that real quick. Sure. Boom. Just like I have the best feeling in your experience. I'm gonna have to figure out how to automate that, or not automate it, but just like get it easily replenished instead of having to go back to that other spot constantly. 
Um. Let's take a look see. So go in here. Yeah, this is this is this is good. Do I have I I don't have it on me. Yeah, because I want to test if I can plant these like decayed melons. So yeah, I want to pull that out. I haven't really worried too much about some of the storage like locations yet, but I'd be shocked to find something that bur burns longer though. Yeah, I'm sure it's a. I mean, there. I mean, for all I know, there is something that's like listed on the wiki. Or something. I've not really delved on the wiki too much. The only the only time I really looked up anything for the game was like after my first couple sessions. I felt like super un like overwhelmed and unsure what I needed to do. And I read like a brief Reddit post about that kind of feeling, and it basically was like your best bet is to progress the game based on what stuff you've seen so far and to really pay attention to like the data log entry kind of things so that's just kind of how i interpreted it was to just go to each of the biomes that i've been to before and try to just learn what's there what i can get from it what materials i can make what tools i can make and then going from there as opposed to like because it's not so much like for looking up a tutorial. It's just like it's super open-ended right here, you know? Like, you really could just go straight to the Aurora and go around that the whole time. For all I know, that's the right thing to do for some people. I don't know. You could go... You could just settle around the, like, the blood grass area here and just constantly look around here for the whole time, which is pretty much what I've done. Like, most of what I've done has been in proximity to this place <laughs> um i've gone out to like the pods at this point like all the different locations but for the most part it's a uh... you do need to go to a deeper depth to progress the story yeah yeah and i've been trying to get in the habit of doing that need to find that other location from the sunbeam yeah i just i don't remember like the thing that sucks so i used to be like only at my um my life pod at the beginning and i watched the 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 shot happen getting over your fears as well it took a minute yeah it's mostly just like like, I can go, I guess, deeper. It's more the problem of, like, if I'm unable to immediately find an, an, an exit point to be able to get away from, like, creatures and shit. When I first went to the Aurora to, like, look for just any new parts or anything, uh, and I, I saw, I knew that there was going to be something fucking stupid over there just because... A giant exploding ship. What? It, like, obviously, it's gonna. It's, there's scary stuff, where there's explosions. Who to thunk? Um, but yeah. But once I started seeing the Reapers, I was like, okay, I have to dissect my best approach to get in and out of certain areas of this, and that took time because I didn't know how the Reapers behaved. Now I think I can handle it a little better, better, as long as I'm only near, like, one Reaper at a time. If it's, like, two, yeah, later. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my thought on that. Alright, let me try to get myself a little bit more organized. Yeah, like, this, this used to be completely full of titanium. I have, I have built quite a bit around here to delete that. 
thought. <laughs> uh, I miss it all. I miss all my titanium. I gotta go out and get more. If you can hear a reaper, it can see you. Yeah, I recall that actually being a data log entry. Or no, yeah, it's part of their... It's just part of their entry, I believe. Hold on. Reaper. Yeah. Motivational note, congrats. Oh no, wait, that's that. The deep roar emitted by the Reaper at regular intervals is effectively sonar. If you can hear it, the Reaper can see you. Yep. As echolocation. They gave the scariest thing in the water echolocation. Okay, fair enough. That in there. They gave... I'm, I'm sure there's... For all I know, there's worse. Because I haven't gone deeper. Usually the deeper you go. I mean, we saw that skeleton. We saw that skeleton. I know it said fossilized. We're not playing this game again. <laughs> Gulp. Um... I guess I'm cringe now according to Infinity. Why? What'd you do, Ark? Also, hello. Oh boy. I mean, I, I was expecting something worse, <laughs> but also, yeah, you got gotcha, Dark. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that's, uh, that's unlucky. The real question is where the 10% goes. This is all, like, I guess, Red Bomber, you're out of the loop with it, but basically in our, in the Discord channel. Arkhelm here has posted that he's been playing, what was it? Honkai Star Rail? And our moderator, Infinity, called him cringe. 90% cringe. It's all obviously, uh, memes and such. I mean, <laughs> you must collect the waifus and husbandos. <laughs> Ark, I thought, wait, so hold on. Are you done with leagues then? Or are you basically just AFKing anything important right now? And that's your, that's your, uh, solution, is to collect waifus and husband. I don't like saying that, that's insane. <laughs> is AFK farming? Really? Or no, I'm sorry, mining. I don't know where I got farming out of that. I mean, I guess. That's something. Uh... Except a sponsorship from Raid's Shadow Legends, so you're in no position to call someone cringe. <laughs> well... I knew somebody who played Raid for a little bit. It's just not my kind of game, I feel like. Obviously, I don't know what your specifications were for your sponsorship. I know I've I've received those as well, but I haven't really acted on sponsorships, really. But, uh... You know. Money's money. Game is game at the same time. Reginald! Okay. Uh, put the weight of glass, lead...
this was a new place and that, but I thought the game was not. I wouldn't think it'd be, like, terrible. I think it's just a matter of, um, different games for different people is probably the way I would look at it. Better than I thought it'd be. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Star Rail it is, at least it's not Genshin. <laughs> Uh, I have no common really. I've not really. I don't really like gotcha games. I don't really play a lot of unless you. I guess it depends what you identify like like IDA gotcha game as. Because to me, it's just a game that you invest into mi microtransaction wise, or like you have to play a fuck ton of. Is essentially all I really understand about it. Um, maybe I'm wrong by that definition, but that's just what I see kind of thing. Not spending a diamonds mega casual. Yeah, I guess I just don't know what the what the definition of a gotcha game is to really uh, ident identify that. Someone said it's the kind of game I would have loved as a kid, but um, but one problem. I'm not a kid anymore, and that's pretty accurate. Uh, so it's just like, maybe when it comes to just gameplay, it's not something as immediately appealing compared to what you used to play. Or c c compared to what you play now, I should say. <laughs> I think that's fair. Just all loot boxes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, WoW was loot boxes, essentially. <laughs> ah. Alright, let me see. I think I have the other plants in the area. I just gotta figure out how I do some of this. Like, if you love Final Fantasy, you'd be like, this is okay. Okay, that's, yeah, that's about the gist of what I'd expect from it. Ah! I avoid those because they flash crazy and it's obnoxious. I wonder if that object there is why there's a seizure warning tag. Flashbang out. <laughs> it's concussive, holy. But it's probably, actually, it's probably more than just that. There's a lot of, like, flashy stuff that happens in this game. Like a ton. It still looks good. Okay. Let me... Go in here. Oh, ampules too, yeah. We've seen those a couple times. Uh let me look in here. It's just all fish that I've caught and like the other little things. Oh, I did have marble melon seeds. Yay! I'm assuming that's how you're supposed to get them. Oh, wait, no, while I was on the island, I should have just, like, I should have knifed the things. That's what it was. Because that's how you get more seeds. I remember now. I missed out. <laughs> yeah, because I need the melon. Maybe I can plant the melons again? I don't know. I'm going to try it. They're fine while they aren't anywhere near you, but they really suck when you get stuck on a spot and destroy your upgrade Seamoth. Yeah, I bet. I bet that's cumbersome. Oh, wait. I'm missing a few things on my hotbar. Hold on. I'm kind of meandering around and not doing anything immediately gameplay-wise. Just kind of chatting with you guys. This is fun. But, uh... I want to try to do one thing, or a couple of things, before I end stream. 
Was it in here? Yes. I want to try to set up a growing bed. Do I just do it in here? Nah, I won't do it in here. Let me do it out here. Because this is the greenhouse. Okay. All right, cool. Now if I go in here, that does work. You could put marble melons in there. You can also put seeds in there if you want. I'm assuming what it'll do is it'll give you like, maybe this will be small ones, this will be the big ones. I'm unsure, but uh, I could just put all of them in here and it'll start to grow a little bit. Oh, you, it, it's, yeah, it's growing. Oh wait, what? Wait, hold on. That didn't that didn't seem right. It was able to give me a full one back. Oh, the melons won't grow? Oh. That's interesting. It gives me back the Wait, can I do this though? I can. That's perfect. Okay. So let me put all the seeds back in. And then that bowl, that... Eh, 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 eh. Fine. I'll... Eh, eh, eh. Is there a duck button? I, I don't think there is. See? No. Oh, I found the auto run button. Look, ma, no hands. Oh, let me, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna stasis gun it. That did not work. The main character's name is Riley, by the way. Not sure if you knew that. Uh, was there a way to find that? Like, information-wise? I don't recall that. <laughs> Unless it was, like, one of the first logs. I just completely ignored it. That- that is just insane. Fine, I'm just gonna eat it. I'll get more melons eventually. Oh, I just ate the potato seed. Well, okay. Or at least the potato plant. I clicked too many times. Unlucky. Maybe it was end game info? Eh. I don't think that's the worst thing. I'll probably forget that. If it's like... Th th this is a conspiracy kind of thing. I mean, that might stick with me. But, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. The only stuff I haven't really, like... Figured out story-wise... Like, the only thing I know for sure... Because we got the... I did go into the Aurora a little bit. Um... Yeah, and like, I got the black box. The only thing I know for sure... I'm the only human left on the planet. Human life signs detected over long range at T8 hours. I'm the only one left. That's, that's the only thing. Unless there's just like some range that, that the, the computer wasn't able to find. Oh! Oh, Riley Robinson. I was like, who the fuck is that? I remember thinking that. I'm like, okay, I wonder who that is. <laughs> oh, 
I was a non-essential systems maintenance chief, Riley Robinson. Wow. Non-essential. That sucks. <laughs> I'm not needed. There you go, now you look at the game. Yeah. I guess I didn't really look at that as like, oh, that's me. I thought that was just like some random schmuck. <laughs> like... They just didn't have information on, so they put, like, a funny line there. So, okay, that's neat. That was a good bit of info. Um, I do think... All things considered, this is probably a good spot for me to end stream tonight. Seek fluid intake. Okay, fine, I'll drink water first, and then I'll fucking end stream. You happy? I, I sought after fluid intake. Okay, now I see it. 